the Bitcoin price has now dropped to levels below $70,000. Yes, guys, this could be a massive, massive warning sign for everybody out there holding and trading Bitcoin. In today's video, I want to take a look at the Bitcoin price. I also want to take a look at my trade over on Bybit and some other things as well. It's going to be a very, very important video, guys, because in the next few weeks, this could decide where the Bitcoin price is going to go. As always, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. Let's get the likes above 500 in today's video. That would be absolutely amazing. And if you haven't already, drop yourself a comment down below if you want to enter to win $200 every single Monday. So what on earth is going on with the Bitcoin price? I mean... And we go to the daily chart right here, we can see we had a nice push. We spiked at about $73,640 and then we got rejected. If we take a look at the weekly chart as well, we are currently on track to close below sixty, uh, below 70000 at the end of this week. That needs to change and that needs to change very, very fast. If we take a look at the monthly candlestick close, honestly, it's not terrible. We had a close at... Um, I mean, we had a close at about $69,300, which is not terrible. Um, however, I would have much, much, much preferred, and I'm sure probably you would have preferred also, a close above $70,000 for the monthly candlesticks. However, now the price is turning uh, back towards the downside, and most likely we'll see a little bit of sideways action here before going back up to test this level right here at about $72,000. Um, on average. If we do go onto the weekly chart though and take a look at uh, an indicator which I like very, very much, the MACD, super simple indicator, but this again shows us that we are still having positive momentum in the market. We are still very, very bullish. If we take a look at this right here, we can see that the MACD has in fact flipped bullish right here back um, a couple of weeks ago. And that's why we're seeing the push towards the upside. And that's why we're going to see a massive push at this bull market. If we take a look, little look back, the last time we saw a MACD cross um, this significant was all the way back here in October actually of last year and that's when we started to see a massive push towards the upside and when we really started to see things push very very good um, when Bitcoin went from around 27,000 all the way up to pretty much $73,000 so it's looking good on the MACD front it's looking very very bullish there if we go ahead and take a look at some of the um, if we take a look at some of the volume recently on the, if I in fact have the volume, I don't. So let's pull the volume. Let's take a look at the, the volume right here in the most recent times. And we can see right there, when we came up, we did in fact have reasonable volume. And if we take a zoom out, last time we had a push towards the upside, we actually had fairly good volume. It just wasn't supported. So we got up there, we can see like that, and then the volume just absolutely collapsed. And that's why we saw a push back towards the downside. But if we... I remove that and we take a look at this other chart right here, which I was talking about. We can see this pill, this uh, points out some of the levels which we were talking about in previous videos. So over here, we can in fact see the different levels. For example, if we go here on the four hourly chart, we can see this level right here, the red level. If we go to the daily chart, it'll be easier. This red line here is the ultimate line, the ultimate test in which Bitcoin has to pass if we are gonna, gonna in fact, have a massive rally to the upside. Of course, a weekly close above 70 K would probably also do that, but if we were to see a massive, massive close above this on the daily chart would be amazing. I am still in my trade for all those asking. Um, it's still around thirty thousand three hundred dollars in profit. I've been in this trade for quite a while yet. I haven't taken any profit yet, but most likely, well, not even most likely, I'm not going to be taking any profit soon because I want to leave this trade, let it ride out for a little bit and see where it can go in this bull market. I'm hoping this trade can go over 100K profit, hopefully. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. I mean, my liquidity price is at my liquidity, my liquidation price is at 46K. So I think it should be perfectly uh, okay. Also guys, if you haven't checked out my channel, go over to the channel because on my homepage, I have loads of different playlists. We can see here, Femex, Market Spotter, Bybit, Trading, uh, Trading Guides, Binance, um, NFTs, DeFi, loads and loads and loads of different um of different categories. So if you were interested in that, you can go ahead and get some content over there. This is another thing I want to take a look at in today's video, guys, because we can see that top blockchains reaching all-time highs by TVL, total value locked, this October. Now, October has just, in fact, finished. And we can see right here, Solana was by far the biggest, 15.5 billion, we can see there. Base, 3 billion. If base 
or to in fact have an airdrop, this will be absolutely unbelievable. I think a lot of people would make a lot of money, including myself, if Base did in fact have an airdrop, that would be amazing. Sui here as well, I mean, Sui has been absolutely killing it recently. And um, we can see right here on the chart, let's go ahead and pull up Sui. So he's been absolutely killing it. And again, it bounced um, all the way back from all the way down here at $1.60. We saw a bounce from $1.60 to $2.15 pretty much in the space of like two days, which is absolutely incredible. One thing I want to point out with Sui is if we are seeing these different altcoins having early runs, like Sui, for example, having a massive early run before a lot of altcoins these are usually the front runners for the bull market. So in my opinion, if I was a gambling man and I wanted to bet on an altcoin, Sui would be uh, a pretty heavy bet simply because it's pretty much front running, front, front running a lot of the other altcoins. Exactly like Solana did previously, this is doing the same. And I think this could potentially be a massive, massive pick. Even getting it below $2 could be a great one. But take a look at some of the meme coins. I mean, a lot of the meme coins are actually not doing so great. Popcat's probably the exception. We can see here, um, Brett is pushing back to, towards the downside. If we look at uh, Dog With Hat, nothing really happening with it. Uh, Cock Inu, nothing really happening. Pretty much bottomed out. Pepe, nothing really happening the meme coin the time for meme coins will come i think it's extremely soon and i'm going to start buying meme coins very very soon again because i think they're going to be pretty much a front runner for this market exactly like DeFi was in the pre previous bull cycle i think meme coins are going to have a lot of utility this cycle that's pretty much it for today's video guys again drop a like on today's video uh let's get above 500 likes that will be absolutely amazing and um, leave a comment down below if you want to enter to win 500 dollars 500 dollars 200 dollars maybe in the bull market 500 who knows but for now it's 200 dollars every single monday thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one